Hello YouTube, Blue CFL here. Today I'm over at my workbench and I'll be showing you my Simplex 2001. Let's open her up. And again, I do apologize for the shaky camera work. I haven't got myself a tripod yet. Manufactured in November of 83. It's got most of your usual cards here. Got your fire trouble control card. Dual zone card, test switches. Dual signal card. March time card. But this March time card also has an integrated timer in it. Some multifunction switches. And a relay card. I haven't decided yet what to do with the last slot. I have a coder card, some other various cards, some more zone cards. But I haven't decided what to do with it yet. I don't have any batteries yet. I don't have the time nor the budget to get some. Um, I don't have any initiating devices connected at the time. They don't really have room at the moment. I'm working on an old HP office jet right now, so once I get that fixed, I'll be able to have a little more room on the table. But of course, I do have uh, NAC circuits hooked up. Yeah, one a notification appliance or two, depending how you want to think of it. Simplex 4051 horn, dual projector attachment with a Simplex 4050-80 incandescent light plate. Now some of you may know this, with the uh, 4050 series light plates, they are not diode polarized. So you need diode to polarize the circuit for proper supervision. I'll explain why. incandescent light bulbs they kind of act as resistors as shown right here current can flow in either direction I measured the resistance of this light bulb we get 34 ohms 15,000 ohm end-of-line resistor for the 2001 combined uh, in parallel with the 34 ohm light bulb the panel would see that they're it is 33.92 ohms of resistance at the end of the circuit. Right here I drew schematics of what the visual circuit would look like at the end. This without the polarizing diode, this width. So here, basically it's two resistors in parallel. You get the, the end of line resistor right here, and you get the light bulb. Here, obviously, is the end of line resistor. But we also have the rectifier diode right here to polarize the light bulb. So you got your negative terminal, uh, positive terminal right here, of course, and your negative over here. When it's not an alarm, the um, current will flow out of here and into here. But it can't do that because of the diode, so it can only go through the resistor. Therefore, it not being able to go through the light bulb. It'll get the 15,000 ohms of resistance. Basically a crash course. Well, enough of me talking. Let's set it off, shall we? Now, I forgot to mention earlier, I do have audible silence set up on this panel. March time will revert back to its uh, slow pulse rate. But one of the next will still give out, um, still be active. Do have a little bit of extra wiring for that, but it's definitely worth it. It's basically this side of the panel. I'll be making more videos of this panel and what else I could do later times. Obviously, that's it for now. See you next time. That's what happens if you don't put the switch back down.